it. He's and if he is well. voted into office, then a lot of these people that are talking about literal or figurative or whatever the hell they're saying, you're going to look like idiots uh, because he will do he will get away with, he will imprison, he will execute whoever he's allowed to imprison, execute, uh, 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 drive from the country. J just look at his past. It's not really hard to read. Only, again, the only thing that stood between him and the destruction of American democracy was the federal judiciary. Can I finish, Simone? Will you just shut up for a minute and let me finish? Pardon me, sir. You Ken, don't get to tell America. me to shut up on national and, television. And, and, and we don't tell people to shut up on this show. Up. Mika Brzezinski and Joe Scarborough are back on the air finally after being taken off for one day because they couldn't trust them uh, to be responsible adults. And oh, wouldn't you be surprised that they are mad about it. Before we uh, start uh, this hour, Willie, I just wanted to briefly talk to our friends and, and viewers that, that watch us every day. Um, and um, and talk about what happened yesterday. Uh, we were told uh, in no uncertain terms on uh, Sunday evening that there was going to be one news feed across all NBC News channels yesterday. The Today Show would be Lester Holt, other other people that well, you worked with on Sunday, and that that was going to be one news feed across all NBC News channels that we were going to stay as a network in breaking news mode throughout uh, all day yesterday. That did not happen. Uh, we don't know why that was ha didn't happen. Um, our team was not given a good answer as to why that didn't happen, but it didn't happen. We were also told it was going to happen throughout the day. And I, I guess after there was such a strong blowback about uh, yesterday morning, I guess they changed their plans. And so those plans changed as well. So it didn't. Um, and, uh, you know, we've talked about it uh, off the air. We'll talk about it on the air because we talk about everything on the air. Uh, we were very surprised. We were very disappointed. And if we had known that there wasn't going to be the one news feed uh, from NBC News across all NBC News channels, Willie, we obviously would have been in yesterday morning. Yeah, I was uh, here up early on Sunday morning uh, with NBC's coverage. Savannah and I uh, led the coverage on Sunday in the immediate aftermath, talking to eyewitnesses, talking to officials uh, about what happened. Obviously suited up and ready to go for yesterday morning on a, on a big morning and were uh, told that something else was going to be broadcast. So um, we are here today going through a lot, catching up mm -hmm. a little bit. But um, we want to yeah. be here for our audience and we we know you trust us and we have ultimate respect for you guys. So. We are here today and wish we'd been here yesterday. This. Yeah, we, we, we all wish we would have been here yesterday. It, it, uh, we we still are. are we like to would like to figure out exactly why there wasn't that one news well, feed. And I think the reason why is this show began and continues 17 years later on being the place where you can go to have the hard conversations um, in a civil way. And so it seemed like now more than ever is a day, a time that we would like to be on. And I think our viewers agree with that. So we continue. Uh, we are five minutes past the top of the hour. No, let me just say, <laughs> we next time we're told there's going to be a news feed replacing us, we will be in our we'll chairs. We'll be sitting here. Yeah, and the news feed will be us or they can get somebody we'll still else. We'll be sitting here.